because the systems throughout mankind that have been distorting our perceptions of reality. Why do we keep having wars with each other? Why do we keep warring with ourselves, our family? And after studying religion and Buddhism and everything else, I found out that fear was always the, the common denominator in all things. So after the war in Iraq and all the things, and then I, I shot this last year, right before 2012, before December 2012. So I was just concerned that fear was obviously you know, being generated in society. So I, I decided this is my version of my movie, I guess. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was really cool the way you set everything up because you know, we practice yoga too. The whole idea of putting in a sure. different input to get something else out. Absolutely. And the fact that you know society is, is driven on this fear-based thing. Absolutely. But it was really cool to see how it starts out and how it evolves in all of us from a very, very point. And then, right. Yeah, that was really well done. Thank you. You know, the one thing that, uh, you know, my fiance is a psychology major, and I love psychology. You know, I suffered through mental illness for many years. I mean, I still do, but that's why I wanted to understand the mind, how we see ourselves, how we see each other as people, and the things that stop us from being the best people we can be. So it was, it was, also, it was a psychology project, too, you know what I mean? And that programming is the one thing I wanted to figure out. Why, for thousands of years, are we doing the same thing? It's 2013. I got an iPad and do stuff, but, but yeah, like, we can't stop killing each other. We can't stop hating and judging people over. So I wanted to find out, what are the biggest fears in society, like what generates this, like if I look at it as an internet, like we're all connected to an internet, what sends out most of those, I always find it's politics, religion, and the media. Those are the biggest hubs of information that spread fear, so that's what I wanted to say. I'm used so. to him talking about <laughs> 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 I'm used to him talking about the fear that we're getting from the media. Unless anybody's got a specific question. Yeah. Yeah. Have you submitted this to the American Academy of Neurology? Yeah. We would love to see good. this. Um, wow, okay. Take Thank short you. films, you should that and because this is true and it's all about what they do. So. Right. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. How you were you able to uh, obtain all the interviews? We were actually there for, in terms of the first interview with Richard Dawkins, we were there at ASU when they did that lecture. Um, so the opening okay. scene, you're able to see him actually asking them that question and he was kind enough to elaborate on it. We then contacted the production company that was there filming them and they were kind enough also to get Richard's permission. We both you know, contacted them, and they gave that to us. And in terms of the other interviews, those are people we know personally that have full degrees and things like that. So we were, we were pretty lucky. Cool. Yeah, Carly Way is a, a professor of sociology at the college that I go to. And then uh, Christine's a good friend of ours who does psychology and stuff. So they're, they're really good people. You organize it very well so you can follow your thought process. Job with that. Thank you. Yeah. That's always a tough thing for me. I feel like I'm scattered. When you know, as filmmakers, are like, oh, the production this. Like, if it wasn't for her, this film would have been made. I'm just being honest. Like, <laughs> she's, well, the, she's the backbone of making sure this production was going and, and putting it in progress. So, Yeah, I guess I consider myself to be, an, I, I, I'm an atheist, I consider myself an atheist, I don't have any beliefs, but I don't consider myself an atheist because I still would like to study spirituality. I'm against religious intolerance, but I'm not against science saying, look, can we try to find spirituality? Is there more to life, more to reality? I think there's a lot of things within quantum physics and science. The, the reason why I put the, the um, universe at the end is because that's my interest too. Like, what else is out there? What else do we not know in this reality? And I like to see science do that. So I live my life as an atheist saying I don't know, you know, but I, I do study spirituality and say, hey, can we use science as the medium to find, to find those things? Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 So. Do you feel that people that don't have the sense of fear that other people have kind of tend to lean towards sociopathic behavior. tendencies and behavior? What do you mean? Like someone that doesn't have an innate consciousness of fear, do you feel like those are the people that tend to... I think to everybody experiences fear. I don't, I've never met anyone on this planet that never has. I think the people that are sociopathic just lack an empathy. They lack the understanding to... We have mirror neurons in our brains that say, I understand what it is you're doing. That's why you can watch a horror film and be like, I'm scared, but the, we know it's acting. We as filmmakers know, but we still do. When you lack that empathy, you know what I'm saying? You lack that... So that, empathy and fear are not connected in that Not sense. necessarily. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. And, and thanks for having us here. For sure. Yeah. Yeah.